Welcome back. The word estate conjures up images of a large mansion on a hill, but really your estate is made up of everything you own, your car, your home, insurance policies, your personal possessions. Mm, and that is why it's very important to have a legal plan in place so that your loved ones will know what to do with those things when you die. David Watson is an attorney. He is here with more on estate planning. Great to see you. Great to see you too. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, so I want to know what estate planning is and especially why you think it's so important that we have a plan. Well, it's, it's many things and uh, what many know it's um, the process of determining who, when, and how others will um, get, your, get your assets, uh, usually through a legal arrangement, through a will or a trust. But it's, um, but it's so much more than that. It's um, making decisions about your small children. It's um, avoiding probate, minimizing taxes, uh, protecting your assets, and then making decisions about your health care and finances while you're still living. And um, it's very important, like you said, when you see an estate or think of an estate, you think of this big sprawling mansion. However, even people who think they have very little have bank accounts, they have houses, they have um, possessions that are important to them, and it's important that they have a say of where those are distributed. Yeah, and like, like I learned, everything comes <coughs> under that estate planning umbrella, your will. I, yep. I was thinking that that might be separate, but that's all... That's all under the umbrella, That's all yes. estate planning. Exactly. And that's why... It's important for women to be involved because exactly. maybe we, why is it important? Well, tr in traditional marriages, uh, women especially, they're the ones who are going to be the surviving spouse. And the reason behind that is women just live longer than men. And that's a true fact all over the world. And I saw a statistic lately that two out of every three women over the age of 64 are widowed. So it's women who are gonna be um, implementing the first part of the estate plan. So they really need to know the process. They really need to know who their advisors are and they really need to know where the important documents are you know, when need be. What do you see in your practice in terms of procrastination? Because I think it's the kind of thing a lot of people put off, put off, and they always think, oh yeah, I got to do that. Mm -hmm. And they don't. Yeah, I see, I see it all the time. I mean, I think um, the number one reason behind that is just, it's just an unpleasant thought. You know, no one wants to kind of think about planning and think, you know, I can always put it off, I can always put it off. Um, another reason is that um, and it's, it's kind of a funny mindset that when people think that when they get a will or when they finally sign a will, that means I'm going to pass away soon. Yeah. But that's oh. just kind of a silly notion. <laughs> it's like getting car insurance and say, you know what, I'm going to get in an accident soon. Right. But that's not true at all. Yeah. Um, and it's it, a great point, though, yeah. because it's like it's, it's dealing with and talking about your own death. Exactly. And what's going to happen to your stuff when yeah. you die. I mean, that's a tough subject. People are in denial, maybe. It is. And it's yeah. reframing it. It's like, you know what, it's not really planning for my demise, it's providing for my family and securing their future. Mm. Is it like dangerous that. to put it off maybe? Is it da is there, are you doing it's it wrong? It's always dangerous because there's no guarantees when you're, okay. gonna, when you're gonna pass away. So, okay. you know, so don't procrastinate. Yeah, don't procrastinate. What All is right. the top reason, number one reason plans fail? The top reason plans fail or not work as intended is the lack of updating or changing beneficiary designations mm -hmm. and then not properly titling real estate. So if I was really diligent in um, updating my will, updating my trust, but kind of neglected um, to update my beneficiary designations, what do you think takes precedence? The beneficiary? The, the beneficiary designations. Interesting. Yeah, and so and I've seen so many kind of nightmare scenarios of, of that going <laughs> wrong. Okay. Yeah. I bet. Which I maybe bet. leads into the next question. You can do almost anything online these days. Yep. So why, if you can do this online, why pay for a professional? Because they wouldn't be able to see me. No, <laughs> the answer. no I'm kidding. A lot of these uh, online services, um, although I'm all for kind of do it yourself and kind of, you know, sure. do it when you can. Um, they don't contain the right tools and they don't ask the right questions to really formulate a great plan. And in short, they don't give you legal advice. And uh, moreover, some of these online plans, once you form them, they're less likely to withstand a legal challenge. Yeah. And part of estate planning, a big part of it is, you know, making sure that um, the plan d does not get challenged and to you know not get questioned later on. Yeah, yeah, I, I would think, think that's people, huge. Yeah, I would think people would have a million questions too. So it just pays to sit face to face. Absolutely. With somebody, yeah. You know. Now this year the, it was the passage of the Secure Act. How is that going to affect estate plans? Does that mean that people should be reviewing 
their plans? Oh, absolutely. So the SECURE Act um, just passed this year, and it stands for the setting every community up for retirement enhancement. And it's gone a long way to um, improve retirement savings. There are a lot of great provisions in there, but um, in an estate planning context, many view it as the setting up every American Act because it's no longer a great uh, tool for estate planning. And the reason being is that it eliminated for most beneficiaries who are not your spouse the um, stretch IRA. So before this act was passed, an adult beneficiary has a choice of, because um, they have to take required minimum distributions to um, take the plan wow. and, and distribute it over the course of their lifetimes, so, you know, stretch it out so it minimizes the tax consequences. But um, now under the SECURE Act, they have to take it out within a 10 year time frame. Ah. And the issue with that is most estate plans that were written contain provisions uh, for the uh, stretch IRA and the required minimum distributions. So this can cause some unintended consequences. So it's really good to take a second look at these plans. Okay. Okay. For sure. And people can call your office. I know right now, thank you for offering this to Morning Blend viewers. You can receive 20% off estate planning packages in the month of February, which is really good timing for people to get their, their things in Absolutely. order now that it's a new year. So call the law office of David. David Watson. The phone number is 414-491-3283. You can also email him at david.watson at Watts um, on Watson at law. Watson at it's all one law. word, I know. And I actually have big print here. Watson <laughs> What's on law. At Sounds good. Law. Watson at law. Great to see you. <laughs> Thank Thanks you so for having much. me.